Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for all your contributions to the channel, your generosity. Thank you for liking and for subscribing to the channel guys. Know that the Infinite Energy Oracle Deck giveaway is coming up really soon. It is crossed the border guys and is on its way. Yay! So make sure you're a subscriber to be eligible to win one of these beautiful decks valued at 111.11, guys. So that's all you have to do. I'm going to be doing a video for those of you that are asking. I will be announcing the winners and I will do a video on that to announce the winners as soon as these decks comes in. So guys, I'm doing something different today. The blueprints, please spirit, of the collective energy. What is aligned for your higher good, your purposes, why you're here, what you're intended to create. The collective energy. Yeah, to realign, to collaborate, integrity, nurturing, devotion and initiation. So this is to bring you back into alignment, to realign you to this collaboration here, this heart center. Maybe you weren't valuing your own worth. It's about nurturing yourself. Initiating and devotion is here. Okay, now give me five cards for the collective's counterparts. It's about fulfillment. The conceptualist attunement divine inspiration divine transference yep okay so I have you here collective and I have your person here Wow, when you look at it this way, guys, it is that you both have a divine purpose to fulfill. It is like this is to realign you, your heart space. For you to see your own value, your own integrity, nurturing of uh, yourself. So you were too busy nurturing. You, you, you might have been nurturing too much the other way. And it is bringing you back into alignment to make you nurture yourself for perfect balance. Devotion is here. This is the base chakra. You are out of alignment, collective. You are too giving, too open, too loving. Uh-huh. You weren't nurturing yourself. You were too busy nurturing the other person. And it's to bring you back into alignment. And what's interesting is this person's... Um, throat chakra is here. It's to bring them into alignment. This collaboration was to bring you both into alignment. Them, it was for their throat chakra, their third eye, their base, two bases. 
So this person was not aligned with the universe. This person's had some issue with their base chakra, their, their foundation. Your foundation is fine here. There's nothing wrong with your foundation. But them, they had a problem with their foundation, their belief system. You were the nurturer of the two, but what you were doing was over-nurturing. You weren't nurturing yourself. Interestingly enough, You have opened this person up to the universe. You have opened this person's crown chakra. But interestingly enough, the curious thing here is this is what has opened their crown chakra. Your crown chakra has been opened. You have been the leader in communication. You have been the leader in the heart center. You have been the leader in integrity, the nurturer, the initiator. But it was out of alignment. Spirit had to realign you. Pull you back to center. You were way over here. You were giving too much. You were nurturing too much on, on their side. You had a lot of love, a lot of compassion. You were the open heart. Well, that was the problem. There is no heart chakra here in this person's energy. You were the nurturer. You were the giver. You were the one who initiated everything, but the funny thing is, this person's crown chakra is being opened. Yours is open, but you have assisted this person to open theirs. You were the communicator, you were the leader, the nurturer, the one with integrity, but you had to be pulled back into alignment because you were over giving, overly compassionate, over nurturing. Now spirit has realigned you, pulled you back to give you more balance. In theirs, it was about communication, instinct, to base. Spirit had to attune their base chakra, their belief system. This person was, it was their foundation. They did not believe in uh, the, their crown chakra was closed. Interestingly enough, you have brought each other into the alignment. The parts of yourself, what you had, they were lacking. What they had, wow, this is cool, guys. They had two base chakras here. One was for you, one is for them. Two crown chakras. One was for you, one was for them. You are realigning each other. The parts of you that were missing are the parts that they possessed. The parts of them that were missing are the parts that you possess. It was the way that this person's base chakra 
what they were taught, their belief systems, They were thinking with their head. You were thinking with your heart. You were thinking that... This is cool as heck, guys. You're the one that was sent here to realign this person and they were sent to realign you. It's that simple. This is really cool, guys. So now, tell me about angel numbers for the collective energy. Angel numbers for the collective energy. I am expanding. There are positive changes or projects that you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect what expect your power to manifest and create will be your creations will be heightened. Collective 777 collaborating with the universe. Your purpose flows from within you, and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. The state of peace and calmness in your soul. Collective energy. Two, two, two. I am balanced. See? It was to bring you back in alliance in, in in alignment. Trust what the seeds of your thoughts are growth growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. This is too cool, man. Three three three. I am powerful. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity, living your truths, and being positive light to others. I knew you were the leader. Initiation. I am supported for four master numbers. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. You are supported by the universe. What is this? One more for the collective. This curiosity. I am harmonious. <laughs> you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using a gentle means. As you were pulled back into alignment. You know, you were too far over here, and now Spirit is, you went too far this way, and now Spirit has perfectly aligned you with something here. The collective's person, five cards, please, for the collective's person. Angel numbers for the collective's person. Oh, zero, zero, zero. I am a creator. You are one with the creator and there are no limits that what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime. You're here on earth. The conceptualist. Angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life that you love. 
So they've been brought into attunement so that they can pioneer to be courageous and be successful. Divine transference. So, guys, they're supposed to be a leader. The same as you are supposed to be a leader. Oh my God, here's your purpose. So it is to put you on your divine path. Both of you, the things that you were missing, they had. The things that they were missing, you had. To align you perfectly, you're supposed to both be leaders. Man. They might be seeing 000111199898. You are seeing three three seven 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 two 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 three 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 four four twenty twenty eight. But something had to be a reattuned. They were supposed to be in tune with the universe. They were supposed to attune, but it was their belief system, their base. Chakra, that is the problem. They had too much uh, belief system, how they were believed, their base, their root, their core of who they are. They were supposed to be a leader, a pioneer. And it is their belief system that has caused them this situation. So that's why Spirit is working on you both to bring you into alignment. The collective energy. New Dawn. The collective energy. Again, three. Three, three, three. Threes are huge. Inspiration. Five. The rites of passage. Three, three. You have earned the rites of passage to the infinite. It is a new dawn, a new day, a new beginning. Things that inspire you. You are inspiring. You are an inspiration to others. You have the rites of passage here to create whatever it is you want to create. The universe is definitely brought you back into alignment for a higher purpose. Talk to me about the collective's person. Life review. So they've had to go through a life review to reevaluate their foundation, reevaluate the things that they have been taught. To self care. This person needed to care for themselves and learn. To love that inner child. This is a life review this person is going through. To bring them into an awakening. And the crown chakra is here. Redemption. <sighs> this is cool, guys. Tell me about... This is the dark side. What was it that the collective ooh, needed to face? What is it that the collective needed to face? To bring them into alignment. Insight. Insight. Uh, 
the mystery. To help you focus. Things that were a mystery to bring insight into the mystery and to bring focus and insight into this mystery. Again, three, three, three. Tell me what the counterpart of the collective needed to face. Warnings to bring them into a life review. Mm. Sovereignty. Maybe they were self-righteous. Maybe they thought they, they were above you. I don't know. It's to bring them into a life review. Hmm. Ah, to teach them respect. <laughs> mm. They've been put through a life review. To teach them respect self-respect and respect for others. They might have had a sense of superiority. They've been put through a life review. Yours was to get some kind of to focus on this mystery solving some kind of mystery as the leader you were meant to be harmonious hmm So your insight, your focus has brought this person through a life review about respect, and about vengeance. Give me a few cards here, Spirit, for the collective energy. Maybe they got a little too haughty. Maybe they got a little too self-righteous. I don't know. It's to teach them respect. You have collaborate here twice. You have work. This is the B energy. Ooh. Mmm. Disguise. For you to have freedom to get a victory here. Maybe in a past life you were dealt a bad hand and it was for this life for you to collaborate, do your spiritual work and to you're being dealt a victory in this life 
by you having your freedom. You were meant to collaborate with your work, to be a light worker. Maybe in a past life you were given a rough deal or a bum deal. And now in this life you're supposed to get the victory. What about this person? Yeah, joy is here. But they had to reveal them true selves. Something is meant to be revealed. This mystery. Hmm. To communicate. Something to do with to grow. To come together as a family and grow together and communicate together. They're about to reveal a mystery. That's what they were supposed to reveal. They've been sent sort of like on a life review of their life. Uh, the way that they're, you know, the way that they communicate. The way that their family taught them to believe. And they were meant to grow in this lifetime. And I'm not talking about your purposes together. But it's pretty evident that the two correspond. You were definitely aligned to be in each other's life. To, to you know, uh, the things that they were lacking you had. The things that you had, they were lacking. So it's like to realign you both. So never think that a soulmate comes into your life without purpose because spirit knows exactly what they're doing. Let's get a few of these. You definitely were put on each other's paths for a reason. This was being brought together for you to grow together. Solve this mystery. There are two in every one. To grow together, but each one being unique and having the freedom Being together, but having individuality. Like I said, the things that the mystery is, what they were held in the dark about, you brought light to. What you had in the light revealed their darkness. Hmm. Collective energy. Generous of spirit. See, the magic works through you. So this is why you're supposed to be cautioned about watch your words, the words you speak. Because you are ma more powerful than what you believe. <laughs> than what you thought. It is, again, time to collaborate and bring those words. Yeah. Bring a gentle touch to the words you speak. The collective's person. To tend to the small things. To be in the here and the now. To bring joy into the situation. 
Why is the vulture here? They may have had to face some kind of attunement, which is why they've had to go on a life review to pay attention to the details so that nothing is wasted. They've been stung. You know what I mean? They should have paid attention to the details so that they did not waste this opportunity. They've been brought on a life review. For them to believe in themselves, not the things that they've been taught to believe in, the things, their own belief, to believe in themselves. This person has been stung to bring them into a life reveal, a life review, the things that they've been taught, their foundation. The collective energy balance. You are being brought back into balance. That's your energy. to reveal this character that is the mystery your assignment would seem that it was to as sad as it made you to reveal this character so that they go through a life review tell me about the collective's person Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords to heal. They're going through a life review because they may have wasted the opportunity to grow based upon their own fears, their own anxieties. They are definitely sent here to heal Yeah, to face their shadow. By them doing this, your job was to reveal this person's shadow. To reveal what the mystery was to reveal what needed to be seen. The sneaky ass energy, this cheating, this lying, this stealing energy. To overcome your fears, to overcome your sadness. Hmm. Damn, you may have been sent here. That's why this tower happened in your life. It was to bring you back into alignment. Maybe you were overgiving. Maybe you were failing to see something. And spirits like, way, way, no, 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 no. Too far over here. Come on back over here to center. Mm-hmm. To collaborate. To collaborate.
this could be to do with you know your to put you on your spiritual path <laughs> quite honestly maybe you were over caring maybe you were over giving but it seems like your purpose was to expose this person which you clearly have and this put them in facing their shadow why they're heavily burdened well that's what's happened maybe they got like thinking that they can control things i don't know what the hell materialism so they're going through a life review spirits got them going through a life review what about my collective now see it's to put you on your path you know, to defeat your enemies. You were the guide. You were the leader. You led the way of this collaboration. And because they involved this third party, that's why Spirit created the tower for you now to go on your path and for you to find your purpose and you to do your collaboration. You were the guide, you led the way. But they messed up. So now they got to go through a life review. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. So they didn't trust their empress. What's going on? Maybe they were manipulating and the spirit saw the truth. They're going through a life review. That's what they're doing. You is to get your good karma. Them, it is a life review. You have triggered one another to do the healing in one another that needed to be done. You was to see your worth, your value, and to find your life purpose. And, and to, to collaborate, find, you know, your divine purpose and them for to do a life review. They messed it up. They, they, they messed the whole thing up. You were meant to grow together. But spirit still got you growing apart. Mm -hmm. I guess they let their ego get the better of them. And they chose that road over their soul mate. So spirit has pulled you back to center by telling you to walk away. And has called them in <laughs> for a life review. And to reflect upon their ego, their shadow side. Hmm. Yep. Well, it's looking like for them to become this divine counterpart they've got to face their emotions they have had to go through a life review Whoa. by choosing this other lover acting selfishly and choosing this other lover has got them stuck in a life review they got to go over and over things repeating cycles oh my god uh. Spirits got them under a life review, making them review their past actions, their past choices, you know, why they made the decisions that they did, why they broke this partnership, why they did it, all the whys. And if they do the work, they will emerge as the upright, and there will be a connection. You have grown. And so will they. 
One Spirit is done with their life review. Yeah, or they want revenge, see? Hmm. Right now, that's the energy they're in. Wanting a revenge or perhaps... This karmic is teaching them a lesson that they never wanted to learn about vengeance. <laughs> They want vengeance on this karmic energy or they're taking their frustration or their anger out. They're being taught a lesson about vengeance. Maybe they wanted vengeance on this karmic energy or this karmic energy wanted vengeance on this person either or they're being made to go through a life for a review. Better think twice before you think that you're in authority because there is a higher person to answer to other than ourselves take care guys this was an interesting read i i enjoy stuff like this guys i hope you do too